maybe I can um, give you a short summary of the of the meeting of the bilateral meeting. Good morning, everyone. Um, maybe I can um, give you a short summary of the of the meeting of the bilateral meeting um, and exchange um, I just had with uh, President uh, Elect Marcos. Um, we exchanged about the ongoing uh, bilateral cooperation and uh, the cooperation in in the international frame, in the uh, multilateral formats, um, and explored and discussed potential for furthering um, cooperation in um, bilateral uh, mutual interest, but also to address global challenges um, like climate change. I um, informed uh, President-elect Marcos um, about the ongoing um, programs um, Germany is um, currently conducting uh, in the Philippines uh, in the framework of our uh, of Germany's international uh, climate initiative to address um, the uh, the impact of climate change here in the Philippines I informed him that so far Germany has provided uh, 25 million euro for climate change related projects in bilateral projects and uh, that the Philippines is also um, engaged in regional projects with um, additional funding on top of these um, 25 million euro and uh, that we are currently working on another uh, big program also in the context of climate change. Um, we um, also exchanged um, about the, um, the priority of uh, President-elect Marcos with regard to food security and um, I uh, informed uh, him about the upcoming minis international ministerial conference on uh, global food security. Um, this also against the background of the um, impact of um, the Russian war against Ukraine uh, with regard to the uh, global food security and uh, the challenges um, on, on uh, global food security. Um, I, uh, we also discussed about the trade relations, uh, Germany being the largest um, trade and business partner among the EU member states. Uh, for the Philippines, um, and we saw a lot of uh, interest on, on both sides to further explore on this issue, uh, specifically mentioned um, uh, we discussed the uh, renewable energy sectors. Where Germany is um, uh, having a very strong expertise and, and uh, engagement. Um, I also underlined the importance uh, Germany attaches to rule of law and safeguarding human rights and assured him of our continued commitment in this regard. In um, this context I also mentioned the um, uh, German support contribution and funding of the United Nations Joint Programme on Human Rights here in the Philippines. Um, we uh, discussed and I informed President-elect Marcos on, the, on Germany's Indo-Pacific policy guidelines that provide um, an, an, a huge uh, pool of opportunities uh, to uh, cooperate in bilateral, uh, regional and, and international uh, issues and, and challenges and assured him of um, uh, Germany's commitment to further engage in the region in our common interest
to protect the international rules-based order, which also comprises cooperation in the um, area of maritime security. I, um, in, this con in this regard, I brought to his attention um, our cooperation with the Philippine Coast Guard. Um, and uh, last but not least, I updated President-elect Marcos on the most recent bilateral agreement um, representatives of the German and the Philippine government signed in Berlin just last Friday an MOU on the uh, deployment of Philippine healthcare workers to Germany. And um, I think this is a brief summary of of a uh, very fruitful discussion and, and exchange we had. Thank you. Ambassador, I have a question. What commitments did the President-elect give you in, with regard to maritime security and human rights? Um, we, we exchanged and we explored this is um, in, in uh, the, our, our uh, joint interest, our common interest in protecting um, international rules-based order and um, the, uh, the, 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 the rule of law that needs to apply also in the maritime sector. Um, um, we didn't go into detail but uh, realized and, and underlined that we have a, a common interest to continue cooperation in, in this field. Ambassador, um, the Duterte government uh, previously asked European nations to cut funding to activists Groups. One of the biggest partners of activist groups is Germany. Did you discuss that with President Alex Marcos if um, your nation will continue funding these agencies? Um. Sorry, I, I don't quite understand when you when you uh, when you say uh, act the activist group, the yeah, yeah. activist groups. What uh, do you mean? Yeah. Um. The activist. Uh, the progressive. Um, we um, we discussed our um, 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 our commitment, or I uh, we we exchanged about our commitment out about uh, Germany's uh, continued commitment in the area of um, protecting human rights and and safeguarding uh, uh, rule of law. We didn't go into details of projects and project funding. Um, um, as one example of, of Germany's commitment, um, I, I mentioned uh, Germany's funding of the UN Joint Programme on Human Rights. Okay, so last question. Last question. I understand that you've discussed uh, renewable energy. Uh, is the German government willing to support the Philippine government if in case it would like to um, redevelop its uh, efforts on developing uh, nuclear energy, for example, the uh, revival of the Pataan nuclear power plant? Um, renewable energies, uh, of course, is, is of great importance uh, to us, to Germany, and, and uh, we, um, we exchanged about the experiences um, and uh, the commitment and the, uh, the distribution and the shares of renewable energies in, in our respective uh, countries' power productions. Um, a president